This is a habit tracker or commitment website program. So they have their start date and then the end date is auto-filled or auto-calculated for them. So start date plus 42 days. So for this one, this is actually via WordPress function that does that calculation. But this is still Jet Engine form and the fields are created using Jet Engine. Hi guys, Anika here and I design WordPress membership sites. Now for this video, just want to share some things that we are working on for this project. Now this is not yet complete but the sections that I'm going to show you are things that are built via Jet Engine and maybe you could get an inspiration for your project so I want to make sure I share it. Now this is a habit tracker or commitment website program. So they have their start date and then the end date is auto-filled or auto-calculated for them. So start date plus 42 days. So for this one, this is actually via WordPress function that does that calculation. But this is still Jet Engine form and the fields are created using Jet Engine. It's just that function that we needed to create because we want to automatically calculate that instead of manually assigning that value. Next is we have some sleep goal, meditation goal, exercise goal, and that's gonna be certain basis of the values that we have in other pages. The box and blue are only visible for admin right now because for members, we only want them to see these sections only. This, we're still developing that, so that's going to be hidden by the time that this launch. Okay, so the process is the member will do their daily check-in and there's a date and then they will need to set how much sleep they had and then notes if they've exercised and so on and so forth. Now this is again with Elementor Jet Engine form. That's how this is completely built. So let's just say if I do January 3 and then I'm going to leave the other fields blank or default. Now if I go back to the daily check-in, so if they have already uh, checked into the page, we're preparing this different section. I think I have mistakenly deactivated my query for this because it's done but if they have checked in this is gonna be the content if they I mean if they haven't and then if they have then we have another content in here to show which will point them to the existing post that they have added already okay so here's how to look so I fix the query so once they have checked in it's gonna says check and record it and then with a date and then they can view that entry and then after that they can continue editing their items here or data here if they have missed their commitment meaning it's less than what they have said in the my commitment page then it's gonna be bordered colored red and if it's a blank field then it's gonna be yellow if they have um, reached that, so example, I'm going to update this to sleep and then it's going to be colored green. Now, if I, example, missed a date, I can add one, but we've limited it to only the past five days. So, but again, that is Jet Engine, though the last five days was a query via Jet Engine. So we're calling the last five dates of the calendar. Now another functionality is the calendar. This is how it's supposed to look. So you can color the days with um, the usual day. And then we have here that if they have checked in, we colored it with something like for this one, it's green. But other than that, we also want to just limit the date. So example, we are basing it on this date here. So we only want to highlight the date from the My Commitment page. So in my end, it is 12 up to uh, 23. 
And then if I have missed my commitment, it's gonna have this red color. And then green if they have completed that commitment. And I can click that and visit the entry that I did for that one. So it was green because this was checked. Now, this one is a bit advanced in terms of setup because you need to create some query. So we have three query here. So this will query the user start date, which is from this field, plus 42, because that's the six weeks. And then it will list the dates. So that's the one that I'm using for this calendar. So example, if I edit this, so edit that and then you can see that that's the, my listing here and I'm calling this meta field name from my query. And again, I have this query. If I open that, so this is my SQL query. I'm using the advanced AI mode. And as you can see, it will list all of those dates. I also have a readable date format, which I'm also using. This days committed is the one that I'm calling in this meta field. Now on the listing side, if you visit this listing that was assigned in here, you can see that I have um, put two more listing in here. Um, this one is not necessary. I'm just gonna remove that. But I have a listing for red, which means I have not committed for this one and then green if I have completed my commitment. So it's not showing here, but that's the one that's showing in the calendar. If we open that one by one, then that is uh, icon though it's floating because I have adjusted its positioning so that it is properly positioned in the calendar. But that's how this is currently built. Uh, one calendar so three listing and three queries because I need to use each query assign that on the listing. So for the query, it, this is just a matter of checking if the submitted post has this field that we have asked for. So example, if it has filled in this specific field for the no weed. So because this calendar that we have, this one is for the no weed specific. So that's it for this video. I know there's a lot of things that I should share section by section, but this is still in progress. I just want to give you an idea for what we're currently building for this one and how we are taking advantage the jet engine, its calendar feature, the query, the listing, Elementor, and so on. Now this complete setup is came from the client for this uh, project. What we are helping him with is improving those items that he have already set up and also adding additional functionality based on what he envisioned this to work. And of course, the design of the pages as well. So I hope this video helps and give you an idea how you can use Jet Engine and its functionality for your project, especially for platform like this where you need to maybe create a habit tracker or day tracker, what whatever that is that that needs the calendar functionality and different forms. So whether we actually have three forms here, one for adding a missed check-in, one for editing a post, and then one for creating a brand new one.